Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 plus or grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a totally unedited recording and a little higher magnification where you can follow the nuclear management very clearly. After making the main incision, this is visco to fill off the anterior chamber. And now this is a paracentesis on the left side of the main incision. And now, capsular axis is done. The anti-capsule has been incised and a capsular tag has been raised. I hold this capsular tag with uterata forceps. Go anti-clockwise all around. And remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil, I complete the rexis which is quite round. Hydrodissection is then done. Hydrodelineation is also done. Hydrodelineation has produced a beautiful golden ring in this case. Visco is again injected. And now the tip of the phago handpiece is introduced. Bevel down, that is the bevel, towards the nuclear mass some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated handpiece is then turned to make the bevel up now see this is direct chop the nucleus is held firmly and it is chopped rotated chopped at another place rotated again and making these chops, the nucleus has been divided into four fragments. Now each fragment is held and emulsification is carried out. Sometimes we may have to subdivide the large fragments into smaller pieces and manage the nucleus in this way. So if you do direct chop, it saves not only ultrasonic energy, it saves a lot of time. And it becomes a great fun if you can complete this surgery safely within a short time. Visco is in injected and now cortical cleanup is being done since there is only one paracentesis. I am using this instrument 23G Simco to remove the cortex. The side port is little larger, say about 1.6 millimeter but it is about three clock hours away from the main incision. So whatever astigmatism has been produced by the main incision has been neutralized to some extent by this side port. And there is only one side port. And now this is hydro polish. The fluid jet is swept over the posterior capsule and now this is hydro implantation the anti capsule is anti chamber is formed by VSS by the irrigating probe and the lens is injected into the capsular bag and now The lens is dialed by the irrigating probe and the surgery is almost done because there is no 
visco. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. You just have to close only one side port. The stroma on either side of this side port is closed by stromal hydration. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. See there is a lot of visco sticks to the corneal endothelium. The fluid jet is sent towards the corneal endothelium by the aspirating port, flushing some VSS. Then the antechamber is nicely formed by VSS and then the case is concluded. So this is how you form the SE. Here I am going behind the eye well and doing this final lavage. Yes. Now I am happy that the antechamber is shining. And this is how I form the antechamber. Check the integrity of the ones. The main incision doesn't require hydration. And then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.